The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The value of the work that SBE NRC has done through the digital enablement for asset management has been critical to advance a lot of work that's already underway across the globe. What uh, SBE NRC has been able to achieve though is to add to that body of knowledge specifically around some really great Australian examples. Projects such as Cross River Rail, the Suburban Rail Loop Authority, Melbourne Metro. These are great examples of how the academic research can be applied in those operations and maintenance phases. The SBE NRC research doesn't only apply to linear infrastructure, it also applies to vertical infrastructure. Now this is very important because jurisdictions across Australia and indeed the world are continuously building vertical infrastructure to support the needs of communities. Maintainers of those assets will look back and reflect on this research as assisting them to get better outcomes to then be able to report better solutions to future governments. The usefulness of digital models after construction has attracted much attention in the built environment sector. This SBE and NRC project named Digitally Enabled Asset Lifecycle Management aims to develop a practical approach that can help the industry keep their digital models alive after construction and handover. We have developed a MetaBeam platform, which is a web-based open beam platform that can help beam data parsing, editing, checking, auditing, and visualization. In addition, we have also used latest AI technologies such as deep learning and image processing to develop an automatic approach for asset inventory data collection. This project supports better use and provision of asset information over the life cycle of the project in a digital environment. It helps identify ways to decrease the cost of operation and maintenance and improve on return on investment of asset management in the built environment sector. The research project this year was something we, we went with the, uh, the, the National Research Centre a few years ago and said we're looking for tangible things that we could use more, more readily straight away and so we've had a look at the project where they've used our video of our network and looked at trying to identify all our amenity walls, retaining walls, that they are infrastructure that we don't have a good record of and they were able to do it on a small sample, get 90 plus percent accuracy on what was there. So we've now, having that prototype or proof of concept, we're now running through with Curtin University to uh, take that across the whole metropolitan network to, to get an inventory of all our amenity walls, all our retaining walls, and then we know where they are, we know what their size are, and we can start looking at a, our maintenance regime and ensuring that we manage them in, a, in an appropriate manner. Yeah, so it's uh, re really exciting that we're able to make it easier than guys walking along trying to pick them up in traffic and that we can do this remotely with a video. We're going to move on this year without, we're, we're having the whole network picked up with LiDAR survey and we believe that this model proof of concept will then work with the LiDAR survey which is even more accurate and even get a better outcome ultimately using it to pick up even condition rating rather than just what is it, where is it, but also what condition it's in to make the uh, management of that asset and the ongoing maintenance even more easy. Spending some time within the steering group for the uh, Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre uh, gave us here in, in the Department of Communities, Housing, Digital Economy some, some great insights into technology uh, that assists us in what we do, um, providing better public housing and social housing um, for those most vulnerable people in Queensland. Uh, and I think one of the great values in which we bought was not just the technology and some of the outcomes of the project, but was also being able to actually spend time and networking with other people in, in all different areas around asset management and life cycle management, which provided us in just an invaluable resource uh, to be able to pick brains and some of the best brains in this uh, type of environment 
uh, and in this industry of how we can do our, do our, make our roles and, and make our portfolio uh, um, better for the most vulnerable Queenslanders. Digital enablement, particularly in the asset management phase of a life cycle of an asset, is going to be key for governments into the future. Because in Australia, as indeed around the, the world, we are finding governments that are in capital constrained environments. So therefore have less capital to expend in the operational phases, and, uh, but still have a demand for new infrastructure. So this research demonstrates quite clearly the value that digital enablement will provide through the, that operations and maintenance phase of the assets. Without this and without the work that SBNRC does, Australia will be much poorer and we wouldn't get the outcomes that we, that we so desperately need for all jurisdictions across Australia and indeed uh, the developed world.